today I am going to start a very short discussion series which will be helpful you to find the path to eradicate your mental fires permanently. Actually this will be a very good guidance for you to explore this path. You have to understand the points I am going to discuss under this lecture series. Then you have to carefully analyze them. Then also you have to incorporate, you have to investigate the points I am discussing under this lecture series with your real life situations and your experiences. So today's uh, discussion will be the first one and this will be focused on how you can observe your mental fires because you must have a very good understanding on how to observe your mental fires. So mental fires can be different types. So you should have a very good ability to observe them. So today's my intention is to focus in that part under this lecture series. Um, so let me start to today's session uh, from a very uh, small point. Say, uh, think about how you spend the day by engaging in your usual routines and fulfilling your daily responsibilities. So from the early in the morning you are getting up, then you are preparing your meals and you are having your breakfast, then you are getting ready to go to schools, maybe go to office. At the same time during the day you try to engage in different kind of entertainment activity. You might like to uh, uh, do swimming and you are doing uh, gardening, uh, maybe painting, you are listening to music, uh, you are doing some computer games, that's how you are spending your day. So when you are uh, engaging in different kind of activities, sometimes you feel happiness, sometimes you feel sadness. How you are spending the day flowing in between happiness and sadness. So you have to observe and you have to investigate how this sadness and the happiness is evolving. What is the reason behind these two aspects? So uh, actually while you are experiencing so many activities from the morning to night, uh, you can feel that all the activities are flowing like, a, like according to a rhythm. Sometimes you can relate to this sensation uh, like the continuity of the ocean waves that are driven to a rhythm. So it's uh, like a rhythm though the things are flowing. So at the same time you might notice that uh, among them there are few certain ac actions and incidents that can cause your mental fires of suffering. You are maybe you might uh, suffering with uh, distress and exhaustion. So I am sure that uh, uh, what sort of activities, I am sure that uh, you, ha you have been experienced this and you want to investigate what sort of activities, uh, due to what sort of activities you are getting suffering and you are getting distress and exhaustion. So when the things are happening in that way, you may feel like the mighty ocean waves hitting the shore with full force. So when you are getting angry, when you are getting uh, say delusion, uh, when you are having some kind of distress situation, you may feel like that mighty ocean wave hitting the shore with full force. It's not like a, a smooth uh, flow in that ocean wave according to a rhythm. It's a uh, too much um, burning, so you are feeling burning from inside. So uh, if you are paying uh, about uh, attention to understanding those kind of burning incidents, think about the burden of those thoughts and the feeling. I am sure, so I would like to take an example, say uh, if you want your child to be a doctor, that is your intention, so for achieving that target you are doing all the kind of things and you are paying attention for your children and you are looking uh, his or her study as well and you want uh, your child to be a doctor that is your intention say if you observe that your child is not studying well as you wish 
sometimes say you are getting angry and you are blaming him you are hitting him you are you 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 will be more and aggressive and so in that way you are acti- uh, acting so you can observe how those things are coming from from your mind so you have to observe these things very carefully because when you are getting angry you may be feeling as if you are burning from inside so i am sure that we all have experienced these emotions you can remember when you are experiencing anger hatred and the nerve uh, and the nervousness of fear jealousy delusion and resentment in your mind so at these moments how severely your judgment is affected by confusion and the furiousness so it's very very hard to bear and very hard to face those situations then think where these mental fires came from how it is occurring what is the reason behind all these mental suffering so you have to investigate it before doing it just try to understand what is mental fires so again uh, when you are uh, you have been burning from inside again and again by these evil thoughts you react to this uh, situation how you are reacting you rea- you react to these uh, uh, restless situations out of control and outwardly by blaming to others by punching to others by reproaching to others you are doing it in that way because you fail to see within why it is happening what is the reason behind all these mental fires you are fail to see within so at the same time you have to think why did i react that way i did why it was happen even though i am the one who reacted i pointed the figure figures at others because you did the mistakes you are the one who are doing all the wrong things all the fault things so you might act in like that you are a very correct person so that's why you are pointing your figure towards others actually you have to think does this make sense you have to think it does this make sense uh you react this way uh, because you assume that your regrets or these afflictions are the outcome of action of those who conflict with you because you believe all the things happen to you not because of your uh, your reasons but because of the others therefore you are blaming to them you are punching to them uh, you are reproaching to them and you react this way because you assume that all your regrets all your afflictions are the outcome of action of those who have conflicted with you that's how you are thinking these actually these conflicts can help you to explore your nature so think about the, uh, the different kind of situation you faced in your life so you, are your expectation really about others so you have to think about that because you want your child to be a doctor that is your expectation so you are trying to achieve your target you are trying to achieve your dream your expectation through your child if the things are going not as you wish if the things are not not going according to your uh, your wish the, the way you are thinking then uh, you are getting angry for an example uh, if i consider the same things uh, sometime i'm sure the, the those who are listening to this lecture might have that experience in your life so uh, so you have to uh, do you have to really think that you are suffering from all these afflictions are the result of the action of others you have to think about that do you really think that you are suffering from all these afflictions are a result of the action of others if you th- if you believe the answer for this question as yes you have to investigate for the more actually is it like that you have to observe 
or sometimes you might think uh, this 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 is happened to you because you have to uh, live with your husband you had to have those children you have to live the that kind of neighbors in your surrounding you had to work work in the office like that with the officers uh, who are working uh, who are working with you you might think in different in that way the everything happened to you not because of your reasons but because of the others so you are thinking in that way perhaps you might think about because you were living environment your village and the, your house and your relatives your husbands and your sons and daughters things you have to uh, as, uh, have to have some kind of associate with them all the things are happening now so you might think in that way or maybe uh, due to the fallout when navigating through kind of endless activities and and also you have to engage you have to fulfill different kind of responsibilities from morning to night so it's a, the the very huge amount of activity from the morning to night you are engaging in endless activities so you might think since i was very busy i am getting angry i am getting those stress situations i am getting this delusion situation that's why actually you have to observe is that the reason behind of your mental fires you have to find the actual reason behind your mental fires so again if i take the same example again you might think because even you want to your child a uh, child to be a doctor you are trying to uh, give him good education you are uh, always observe him and you are helping him to for his studies then you are thinking that uh, even we are even i am i want to uh, i want to my child to be a doctor i am doing everything for him but he doesn't want to achieve that target you might think that if i had a way, another child like that uh, i i could be able to achieve my target so you might think in that way no because you are you always thinks the all the sufferings all the all the fires all the mental fires you are getting not because of your reasons but because of others so that's how you are thinking so uh, at the same time you are uh, when you are suffering from mental fires like greed hatred stress and fear uh, you you were you are burning from inside uh, you have experience it you can understand how the uh, sometime you are all the your body the reactions are changing it's very uh, difficult to sometime talk uh, sometimes you are talking very fastly you are the face will get readiness like that you are ob- observing some kind of different features which a uh, change in in your body and also when you feel happiness you love to have it more you love to have those happiness you want to keep it for a certain period even you are trying to keep your happiness for a certain period it, uh, your affection is not happen sometime later because that happiness will start it will grow and it will come to a particular peak point then you that the level of happiness will automatically decrease even you want to have it for a certain period the the, the nature of it is it will give a maximum uh, happiness to you but later on it the, that the magnitude of that happiness the whatever the uh, satisfaction you are getting from that feeling will be reduced so that is the nature of uh, of the things so you have to observe it then at times you are getting more mental fires so what about your situations uh, you, your emotional impulses can become unbearable in extreme cases depression or suicidal uh, thinking can happen so we are hearing those kind of news in in daily life so when a person is suffering from de- depression situations because he or she doesn't know finding a path to eradicate their mental fires permanently so they will decide to having a committed suicide suicide cases uh, like that uh, so the things are reporting now from the society 
because they don't know how to eradicate their mental fires permanently. Of course, there are some solution, but they all things are very temporary. Uh, no one is given a path to find the reason behind these mental fires permanently. That's why pe people are suffering from that. So my intention is to give it, give, uh, provide a very good guidance for you to explore this path. You will find the path to eradicate your mental fires permanently. So this will be a, a permanent solution. And also uh, you want to think about again your mental fires how you express your mental fires. So uh, you express your mental fires to others by thoughts. If you are getting angry, if you are getting hurt, if you are having some depression situation, you are express your feelings, the feelings you are getting due to that mental fires uh, by uh, to others by thoughts, by different words, maybe very sharp, sharp words you are using and actions the things will be changed like that way. You hurt others feelings by putting them down sometimes yes because you want to uh, express or you want to uh, uh, say expose your that uh, aggressiveness or your that uh, burning uh, to outside. So how you uh, express that burning to outside from words and from your thoughts and also from different actions. That's how you are doing it that way. Uh, then these situations can easily escalate to verbal abuse and physical confrontations also. Actually, uh, you might observe those situations. Uh, they are easily uh, uh, easily uh, given some kind of energy for uh, energy to you to uh, talking loudly, taking actions very immediately. That's why you are hitting to others, you are uh, report, reproaching to others, you are blaming to others because you are having some energy in your in your body. That the, that particular the, that sort of energy energy will be generated in your body. So these conflicts can cause serious damages to relationship, also mental distress and suffering to everyone. When you are getting angry, you are burning from insides. When you are say throwing the words to others and when you are hitting to them, when you are uh, say reproaching to them, they also suffering. So when you are getting angry, you also burning from in, in internally. And also the people who are in external in your house, maybe in your office, they also get in suffering. So that's how things are happening. So then internally and externally, you have to observe it, how those mental fires rage. Because uh, your inside emotion melted, melted went out of control and came outside as verbal and physical burning actions. That's why you are uh, doing those things. Uh, now your mental fires are raining internally and externally. When you are getting angry, your mental fires are raining internally. It will generate some uh, say different energy and also you are showing you are burning to outside and you are uh, say exposing it to outside uh, in that way. That's why uh, th this, uh, ex I think I am sure that everyone have experienced this but you have uh, not observed it. So my, uh, I would like to invite you to observe those uh, situations very carefully. Uh, and also you can think about and you can study about how domestic violence are violence uh, uh, the happening in your uh, homes and in your uh, in, in different incidents. When uh, you are uh, say ragging with, with, uh, when your mental fires are ragging internally and externally uh, so then the uh, you try to uh, point out the figures to others because always you are not uh, you are not uh, skillful and you are not capable to see through what happened inside your mind. When the things is happening to you, you believe that was happened not because of you, it was happened to you because of others. Therefore, every time you are trying to point in finger, your finger to others. So this is how you are reacting in that way. 
but you didn't observe there are three fingers okay which have been folded towards you you didn't observe why 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 um, what this is indicating this indicate observe yourself observe your mind so you might find the reasons so from today's onwards you have to do this experience exploit the definitely you will find the path to eradicate your mental fires permanently then uh, actually when you are thinking about your life the things are passing in different way there are some incidents uh, which uh, uh, which give in sadness to you and also there are sometimes uh, happiness uh, is occurring so but the, anyway the uh, in one side sadness in the other side happiness things are happening in, in your life anyhow we all anticipate living a life character is uh, characterized by maximum happiness because all our actions are geared towards accomplish such anticipated dreams we all we all want to have a happiness life that is our target but even you are even you want to have it uh, i would like to take another example to indicate uh, just to think about yourself think of a wedding of your daughter or maybe your sons you are very happy uh, when you have to do it you know because your daughter or your son is getting to marry uh, get it, getting into a marriage life but in the same wedding you will be sad as she is going away as he is going away because earlier he or she was under you were care so you all were living in a very happy family for a long time period then the after on that was uh, uh, they, then they are going to live separately so it's you uh, will not be able to uh, bear that uh, maybe that sadness so on the same day how was that sadness and happiness caused in the same wedding on the same day with the same incidents because you can understand that that incident is not a matter of or oh, it is not much influence to uh, decide whether it is happiness or sadness because happiness and sadness will be generated in your mind there is a particular reason behind that you have to observe it otherwise even you are looking at you are getting happiness because of this this incident because of that person because of, because it was happened in this way that is not the reason your happiness and sadness will be generated from your mind there will be a particular reason to that you have to observe that this is the starting point of that experience journey and also you are finding uh, when you are getting uh, burning from inside when you are getting angry or when you are burning from inside you try to find a temporary solution to get rid from mental fires always we are doing in that way because if the things are happening in that way you are burning from inside sometimes uh, you might think all these hap- things were happened due to you were maybe say um, unwholesome th- since you have done kind of unwholesome things in past as there is a return of that uh, those things you have to face those uh, sad things you might think in that way so but uh, the, just to get rid from all these mental fires Uh, uh, you ask from temporary solution from supernatural powers maybe from the gods maybe some you will uh, uh, just to follow some routines under different beliefs uh, maybe uh, doing some kind of bali towil and the shanti karma bodhi puja maybe doing medit- med- meditations and also you try to practice some um, say some tricks to manage your anger uh, you will get the help of some maybe psychology western psychology uh, different things so many things you are doing so you want to get rid from your mental fires but think a bit is it is possible to uh, overcome or get rid from mental fires permanently with the, with all these solutions even you are having uh, even you have a practice to get uh, have meditation for a short period per day 
while you are engaged in that particular meditation of course your mind will be very free and you will feel uh, some kind of very uh, presence uh, very uh, maybe the, it's some kind of uh, peaceful environment you might uh, you might feel that it's very peaceful way the things will flow even when you are trying to do a bodhi puja or any other kind of maybe practices with the belief because you believe that by doing that activity uh, you are uh, the fire will get rid and also actually the thing uh, something uh, the the particular action will be happening behind all these solutions why because when you are getting angry your mind is uh, working towards some uh, according to a particular process uh, so that's why you are getting angry again and again when the things are uh, remind to you every time again you can remind the same incidents then again you are getting angry when the when the angry aggressive is occurring it will uh, increase up to certain level then it will go to the peak peak point and the magnitude of that uh, level will be reduced that is happening normally when when it is reduced again you, you can remember the same incidents again when you remember it again you are getting angry so it is happening continuously just to overcome just to get rid from these mental fires what you are doing you are trying to engage in different kind of activity maybe bodhi puja maybe balitovel shanti karma those things when you are uh, thinking to do this uh, you are that uh, the you are the that process is uh, will uh, that process will break because you are uh, again, you are reminding the same incidents again and again so that uh, that things will break for a short period and your mind will be set up in a calm way and you can have some peaceful situation of course there those all these activities uh, will give you a temporary solution to get rid from mental fires but it is not the permanent solution even uh, so the very soon after you are com- having you meditation maybe any shanti karma any puja uh, any uh, any things the very soon after again due to a, another reasons maybe due to a, the maybe a different incidents uh, will be happen uh, soon after you are uh, all this meditation then again you are getting angry okay because that uh, meditation or any that the, the things you are going to practice to uh, find a solution to get rid from mental fires temporary will not give the permanent solution they all these things will be a temporary solution so you have to find the path to eradicate, eradicate your mental fires permanently so my uh, to find the temp- uh, uh, so for doing this uh, uh, i uh, so i think you can analyze uh, all these situation uh, whether by experience in them you can you can observe them actually by doing all these temporary solution can you eradicate your mental fires uh, permanently so you will observe and you will understand definitely all these solutions are temporary basis so uh, then uh, i would like to uh, just uh, uh, invite you all to uh, explore the reality of life by listening to my this uh, very short discussion series uh, i would like to share my experiences with you and also i would like to invite you all to listen to those things and try to understand them and, and also definitely you must ha- have to apply them into your life experiences and observe it then ultimately once you are listening to all these uh, lectures in the, uh, in uh, in near future uh, you will be able to find the path to eradicate your mental fires permanently so with that message i would like to conclude today's session uh, thank you very much for your listening thank you